What's up, everybody, and welcome back to our Life is Strange community series, a community series that airs every Wednesday at noon Eastern Standard Time. I'm Alex, and this is where we talk about Life is Strange topics. Now, leading up to Life is Strange 2, we talked a lot about Life is Strange in general um, and kind of predictions for what could be in Life is Strange 2. We talked a lot about the characters of Life is Strange 1 and if they would appear in Life is Strange 2. And then last week, I kind of did a whole little political thing on Life is Strange 2, the first episode. And I wanted to do some comparison videos next as we get closer and closer to whenever episode so two of Life is Strange 2 comes out. So in this video, I want to talk about Sean and Daniel. I want to talk about if they are better characters than Max and Chloe. Now, this is a little unfair of a video to make right now, but I do want to talk about it. I do want to discuss it. Um, because And the reason it's unfair is because we've only had one episode from these two characters. And while Max and Chloe have gotten many episodes together, they had five. If you count the farewell episode, if you count Chloe and Before the Storm, we've gotten a lot of Max and Chloe. And obviously, we have a lot, a lot of history um, and the entire story unfolding. Uh, to let us make a judgment on Max and Chloe. And we don't have that with Sean and Daniel. So this could be a video that I come back to once the season is over and then definitively say who's a better character. But after episode one, you know, I think there is something that can be said comparing the two. And, you know, Sean and Daniel, I think, get extremely, extremely close to Max and Chloe. And like I said, I think in last week's video or even in the review of the first episode of Life is Strange 2, I think Life is Strange 2, is so far, the first episode, is more put together, is a better quality episode from start to finish than the first episode of Life is Strange. I think I liked the first episode of Life is Strange better. I think it did something that this second season, or however you want to call it, um, didn't do. But when it comes to characters, I think Sean and Daniel did extremely well. I talked about that too. Um, I was really, really impressed by them because I really do think that they had a, a possibility uh, of falling short, of being just not good characters. And and that's a really big you know thing to put on us, that they're brothers. And that's a different relationship. You know, Them being brothers... One being older by a lot. I believe their ages are 16 and 9, something like that. So they're around 7 years apart. Um, that's very different than Max and Chloe. Now, Max and Chloe are 18-year-olds. Um, they're best friends. We know the history with them. And their history is kind of you know, a bit advanced in, in what's happened to them with Max leaving Chloe um, after her dad died and then coming back and all that stuff. And so they have definitely a complicated past for sure. Um, but it's not the same as a brotherhood comparison that we have with Sean and Daniel. And like I said, said, I do think they were really good. The answer to this question, the answer to what this topic is talking about, I believe after one episode, they are not as good as Max and Chloe. That is my honest opinion. But what I will say is they're not far off. And I really did expect, you know, I hoped, I hoped Life is Strange 2 was going to be as close as it possibly could to Life is Strange 1 because I hold that game up very, very highly in my mind. And the truth of the matter is it did very, very good and it did not let me down. Um, I, do, I don't think this second season is going to going to be as good as the first Life is Strange. I don't think Sean and Daniel are going to be as good. I don't think the themes maybe would even be as good. So there's a lot of things I don't think will be as good, but I was worried that it would be, you know, catastrophically worse, that it really would take a, don't now would take a huge step back, and and you know, I was hoping that they wouldn't show us that it was, they're a one-hit wonder, that they made the one game, and that's all they can do. They have, they, so far, I think they've proven it with the first episode. I was really impressed. It held up really, really well, and Sean and Daniel held up really, really well as well. I really, really like those characters. I really like the relationship. I really like what they're doing with Daniel. The whole, the fact that you're not playing as the person, and this, these are these are spoilers, these are spoilers, that you're not playing as the person with the power definitely is a new thing. I know, obviously, when we played Before the Storm with Chloe, she didn't really have a power. She had that talk back, you know, mechanic to her, but she never had an actual power. Max had the power, and in that game, Life is Strange, you were playing as the person with the power, and you were basically, you know, constantly saving Chloe and, and working to find Rachel Amber and all that stuff. But this one's different. This one is you're the older brother by a lot. Your younger brother is still a very, very young kid in, in this world. Thing, bad things have happened to him in terms of losing his father and, and, and losing his home and all that stuff. Um, and it's very different, obviously. You're kind of impacting his life. You're really going to make decisions. I feel like you're going to be the person that tells him, hey, use your powers on this. Or he'll, he'll go to you for guidance and say, hey, you know, should I use this power to do this? And you're going to have to be the one that makes the decision for him, although you're not the one. He's the one who has to bear the responsibility, but you're making the choices. And I really do like that aspect. I think that's very different in the first uh, season. And in that way, it may make them more interesting.
interesting characters and may make that dynamic more interesting. But as of right now, I would say I, I enjoy Max as a character more than I enjoyed Sean. If you were uh, you know talking about characters that we were actually playing as, I did enjoy Max. And Chloe, you know, iconic character, really, really awesome character, funny, um, rebellious, all that kind of stuff. I do like her more than Daniel. Or when we can compare all four of them, but I do like Max and Chloe um, better. But that doesn't mean I don't like Sean and Daniel. I think they're really, really good characters. I think they have a ton of potential going forward. I think overall, this season is going to be very close to the first season of Life is Strange, and those characters are, are going to be very close. And it's just really all the other stuff. Where is the story going? Uh, what's the ending going to look like? Those kind of things are the biggest question marks I have for Life is Strange too. So let me know in the comments below, guys, what do you think of Sean and Daniel? Do you think they're good characters? Do you think they match up with Max and Chloe? Let me know. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel podcast now. These Life is Strange community videos go up every single Wednesday at noon Eastern Standard Time. Uh, and so next Wednesday, we'll have a brand new episode for you guys, and I hope to see you there.